You guys are in for a treat. I bought these very rare scout rifles. Let's give each of them a try. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to break a nail. I bought these guns off a collector, and when I have those rare pieces, those pieces that you can't find anywhere else, it draws people into my shop. Maybe they can't even afford that gun, but while they're there, they buy something else for 800 bucks, and that's what makes our bread and butter. This is a very rare Scout Dragoon. Probably worth a lot. It is worth a lot. Good. Yeah. I love that. It means that he ain't selling it. Oh, that's not true. No, I'm not selling it. Rich takes care of building of the guns, gunsmithing, sales, but as far as the money goes, that's all me. Rich, do you understand what business we're in? We sell guns. You can't just take anything out of inventory that you want if it's going to really bring in a lot of money for our family. It's one of the perks of having a gun shop. Absolutely. Kurt, I think you're probably pretty close to ready to run this shop. You know, running gun smoke together with Renee can be great, but it can really be problematic. If somebody wanted to pay enough money for this gun, we would sell it. No, you can't sell it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. business. My husband married his business with his hobby. If he was allowed to keep every gun that we got in the store, we'd be broke. Would you we'll sell that. a gift that he gave you? Yes. You, <laughs> you would? Wow. That gun's not going anywhere. I want to shoot. Let's, Let's go. go. No gun is going to be sold here at Gunsmoke without being tested by my family first. I like this even more than shopping. Yeah. Good shot, Mom. Even better than Paige, of course. All right, well, now you're going to see why I'm not going to let go of this gun. So you can't tell him to get rid of that. Don't worry, honey. If we get that broke, I'll sell a kid. 